We have uh, KP Fabian, former diplomat, joining us. Sir, thank you for taking out time and speaking to us. Uh, your quick reading uh, on how the relations are panning out between India and Maldives. Uh, do you think it's wrong in any way, given that India has catered to its own interests first when it comes to promoting regional tourism? Thank you. Well, <clears throat> just because uh, India wants to promote uh, domestic tourism, the Maldives had no good reason to get uh, worked up about it. So the reaction tweets by, you know, the Maldivian ministries and others uh, were uh, absolutely unnecessary. At the same time, uh, we should understand that, uh, you know, we cannot change our neighbors. Maldives and India uh, will always remain neighbors. And uh, therefore, we should sort of tackle the matter with some diplomatic uh, subtlety. And we should understand their sensitivities and uh, yes. take care of our interests at the same time. Just to make one point, the new president of Maldives, uh, you know, had on his uh, manifesto uh, said that Indian military presence would be withdrawn. Well, we don't have a real military presence. It's hardly 70 and dot people, two helicopters, and that too primarily for health emergency and uh, Dorney aircraft and uh, a vessel. So there is no big military presence. But nevertheless, he had said it. So what we could have done, of course, I'm not privy to communications between the two governments because I'm not in the government. What we could have done is, as we could have told them, okay, we can withdraw the military helicopters provided an Indian company is replaced, you know, does uh, uh, the same thing. So that, you know, he, the, uh, the, prime, uh, the president could have saved his face, you know what I mean, face-saving formula. So that's why I said, you know, we have to handle it with some sensitivity. There's no point in sort of uh, being so difficult with them and uh, pushing them to a corner. Right. Uh, sir, you're also quick reading on how Maldives has uh, handled this whole issue. Uh, do you think they could have really handled this better now that things have escalated to a point? Uh, do you think Maldives' economy is further going to get impacted after what has happened, especially in the last 24 hours? Okay, let's look at it this way. The Maldives government came out with a statement. I read the text of it, which was uh, very um, you know, correctly formulated. That is, those who sort of uh, do these tweets uh, uh, spoiling Maldives' relations with the, uh, other countries, they are in the wrong and the action would be taken against them. That is point number one. Second is that, you know, we have to... Um, now Maldives have realized that uh, there are economic uh, consequences for such, uh, uh, what shall I say, uh, thoughtless uh, uh, tweets. That is a good thing. But at the same time, um, you know, we have to recognize that if we push them too much into the corner, then they will uh, get even closer to China. So we have to handle this, uh, you know, with, and we have to navigate these waters uh, skillfully. Right. Appreciate you speaking to us. So that was KP Fabian, former diplomat, uh, sharing his thoughts on the widening diplomatic or rather the diplomatic face-off between India and Maldives.